Hi, I'm Paul Gross. I'm an extension educator at Michigan State University uh, with a, a area of expertise in, in cover crops and soil health. And I'm at the uh, Agro Liquid demonstration site. Uh, and I'm talking a little bit about uh, some cover crops, primarily frost seeding uh, red clover into winter wheat. It's a very common practice in Michigan. It's one that probably, as far as cover crop use, it's probably been one of the one of the practices that over the course of multiple decades, farmers have done as plow downs, as sources of, of nitrogen for their, for their crop. And it's actually a practice that's coming back now. And I'm standing in a, in a field, a demonstration site where red clover was frost seeded into winter wheat. Now frost seeding is, is usually takes place just after snow melt in the spring in Michigan right about that March area when we have the freezing and thawing in the morning. That natural freezing and thawing causes cracks in the soil. And those cracks allow those seeds to penetrate into the soil so you get good seed soil contract in the spring. Uh, we put it under winter wheat, uh, gives it an opportunity to grow. This particular seeding or, uh, is about 10 to 12 pounds. Seeding rates, uh, farmers will choose anything uh, from six to 18 depending uh, if they want to use it as just a cover, as a plow down, or possibly as forage the next year. So there's a lot of opportunities that, that farmers can utilize red clover in the winter wheat uh, for different parts of their system. Uh, one of the advantages that a lot of farmers are using now is utilizing red clover for nitrogen contribution for the following crop, whether it's corn, uh, whether it's sugar beets, you know, depending on your, your rotation in Michigan. Uh, ordinarily a good stand, and this is what I consider a pretty good stand of red clover, uh, it can contribute as much as 75 pounds nitrogen for the following year as a, as a plow down. Now when we, we look at that, uh, the, that good stand, we probably have about 100 pounds contribution of the biomass above ground, and we have probably 50 pounds below ground. So that 150 pounds total for that crop, that 75 pounds is probably what would be available that first year. There's other contributions we'll have as that biomass breaks down in following in the following years. So putting in red clover is a, is a really good opportunity for farmers to fit a cover crop into a system that they already have. Uh, you frost seed it in the spring. Many times farmers will put it on, they can mix it with a uh, spring or that early fertilizer application. They can mix it, uh, just put it on with an ATV. But timing is critical. You want to wait till the snow gets melted. You want to wait till those mornings where you get the freezing and thawing so that seed settles in and gets good seed soil contact. I think that's kind of an important thing to remember. Another consideration when you're as a farmer putting in uh, the red clover and wheat, you may have to adjust your herbicide program. You know, depending on weed pressures and those types of things, uh, if you're going to use some of the traditional uh, wheat herbicides, you may not, you may have to adjust that. So that's just another consideration when you're putting red clover in frost seeded into winter wheat. One of the things that I like to look at in the summer, when, after the wheat is off, as example now, is to dig this out and see what we have as far as looking at you know, how, what, the, what this clover might be contributing. You know, a lot of uh, having live roots in your soil, you know, this extends live roots into your into that rotation much, much longer. So it improves your soil health. 